Hi, and welcome to Nishcraft. My name is Cassie, and I am your host. So today, I am going to be teaching you a chevron stitch. This The chevron stitch that I've picked for you guys to learn with is um, what I call the simple single crochet chevron, all right? Um, the reason I've picked this one is that it has very good drape, and it's very easy to make. Um, before I start with the tutorial though, I want to go ahead and say hi, welcome back. For those of you who are new, it's really great that you've come and you have decided to join me for this tutorial. Um, please remember to like and subscribe, share this if you know anybody who would benefit from this, and also leave me comments so that I know how I'm doing. I read every single one of your comments and I always find them very helpful. Also, remember that I have a giveaway going on right now, so be sure to check my channel out so that you can find that giveaway video and you can or enter that giveaway. It's got a lot of great things in it. All right, so back to the chevron stitch. This is going to be done in a multiple of 16 stitches plus two. So for example, you can either start with 18 stitches, you can start with 32 stitches plus two, which would be 34. Um, or, like me, you can start with 50 stitches, which is 48 plus 2. I've decided that 48 plus 2 is a, is a good um, size to show you just exactly how this looks, because it'll give you enough chances to see that chevron pattern um, in, rea in reality here while I'm working on it. So, go ahead and pause the video right now, make the multiple of 16 stitches plus 2, and then go ahead and come back and we will start the tutorial. All right, so as you can see, I have already made my 50 stitches. 48 is a multiple of 16 and I added two more for my turning. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna work two single crochets into the second chain from my hook. And if you want, ahead, want to go ahead and make sure that you're identifying the right chain, just know this loop on the hook does not count. So we're not counting that. This is the first chain from the hook, and this is the second chain. So this is the chain that I'm gonna work into right here. Not this one, but this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my hook right in there, pull up a loop so that I can make a single crochet, and then pull a loop through so that I have completed one of the two single crochets. Next, I'm going to make another single crochet by putting my hook into the same loop, pulling up a loop, and then pulling through two. Now I've made two single crochets into the second loop from my hook, and I'm ready to go on to the next step of the pattern. Next, I'm gonna single crochet into each of the next seven chains, okay? so. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna single crochet across as if I was making something with a regular single crochet stitch. So that's one, two, three, four. five, six, seven. All right, so I have worked those two single crochets into the second chain from the hook, and now I've single crocheted into the next seven chains. Next, I'm gonna skip a chain. So I'm not gonna work into this next chain, which is right here. I'm just gonna skip it and go on to the next chain. After I've skipped that one chain, I'm gonna make seven more single crochets straight across. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So, 
We've got two single crochets into that second loop from the hook. We've got seven, we skipped a chain, and then we've got seven more. So this is our first 16 um, down, okay? And as you can see, at least the way that I've shaped it here, and it should start be making the shape for you, we've got a little bit of a V going on right here. Next, we're gonna continue the pattern. by single crocheting three times now into this next stitch, all right? So we're gonna single crochet one time. I'm gonna put my hook back into that same chain, single crochet a second time, and then I'm gonna put that hook right back into the same chain one more time to single crochet a third single crochet, all right? So, um, at the very beginning of our rows, we put two of them in there. But when we're making our, when we're making our um, pattern, we're going to put three in here when we're doing the body. All right. Once we have done the three single crochets into that next stitch, we are going to continue doing seven single crochets. One, two. three, four, five, six, seven. All right, again, just like we did before, we're gonna slip I mean, we're going to skip this next chain, okay? So the pattern is you do seven, and then you skip. You do seven, and then you put three. You do seven, then you skip. And now we're going to do seven more. Just ignore that one and go into the next one. And here we, here we are doing seven more. And if you want to look at it in a kind of a fun way to help you keep track of what you're doing, you can kind of think of it like you start out at the top of this mountain and then you go all the way down the mountain and then you skip one and then you go all the way up the mountain with seven. Then you add three more and then you start going down the mountain with seven. Then you skip one and you start going up the mountain with the next seven. So what we do at the top of the mountain or what we do after we've skipped is that now we're going to put three single crochets into that next chain after we do that second part of our pattern. Going in there one more time for that third single crochet. All right. So now we are right at the top of that mountain or the top of that chevron, however way you might want to look at it. And we are now going down by crocheting seven single crochets down. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. So what we do when we get to the bottom is that we skip this one, okay? Because the last thing we did was that we crocheted three into one. So now that we're at the bottom, we're gonna skip that and we're gonna crochet seven more. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you'll notice that you will have one stitch remaining. And the very first and the very last stitches on this chevron stitch, we're only going to put two single crochets into that stitch. So I'm going to put one single crochet in there, then I'm going to go back again and put the other single crochet in there. All right. Now I'm going to turn my work and this is going to be our repeat row. So row two, which is the one we're about to do, this one we're going to just continue to repeat until we go to the length that we want this piece to be. All right. So you chain one as a turning chain. All right, and into that first stitch here, we are going to work two single crochets right into that stitch. So there's one, then there's two. All right, next we are going to go ahead and single crochet into each of the next seven stitches seven times okay i mean <laughs> i hope that. wait let me repeat that next we're gonna single crochet across until we have done seven stitches okay so again that's one two three four five, six, seven. There we go. All right. Next, we're at that point where we skip a stitch. Okay, so what we're going to do is that we are going to, instead of skipping one stitch, we're going to skip two sk stitches. All right. And again, this is a repeat row. In the repeat row, we skip two. So one, two, and then we do seven more single crochets back up that mountain, as I was showing you before. Or if you don't want to Think about it in a fun way. Just do seven more single crochets after you skip two. Well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, so now that we have single crocheted back up, we are going to put three single crochets into the next stitch. Okay, so we are at the top of the mountain and we're putting three single crochets into that very top part. Okay, now we're going to do seven more single crochets across until we get into that bottom where we will skip two. So one, two, three. four, five, six, seven. All right. So now we are at that bottom right here and we're going to skip the next two. We're not going to stitch into that one or the next one. We're going to skip them and we're going to go to the next one. And now we're going to do seven single crochets up that mountain, or up the ridge, up the ripple, up the chevron. 
however you want to think about it we're doing seven stitches here this is five six seven all right now we're going to do single three single crochets into this top right here and then we're going to go back down doing seven crochets in the next seven stitches so one two three four five six seven since now we're down at the very bottom here we are going to skip two stitches this time all right and we are going to go into the next stitch and crochet seven stitches in a row one two three four five six seven okay and now we're going to put two single crochets into this last stitch one two now we're going to turn all right and you can see this pattern emerging here all right and if you feel really good about this particular pattern at this point go ahead and just repeat row row two over and over and over until you get to the size that you want and once you're at the size that you want all you have to do is tie off and then weave in your ends by using a tapestry needle and going behind these stitches here and making your ends go go behind those you want to go go behind those like one or one or two um, or even three times to make sure that that tail does not um, come out for those of you who still would like to do one more row together that's fine we're on the third row now and i'm going to go ahead and do one more row with you until so that you guys can feel like you've really got this down all right so row three we're going to do one chain all right like we do at the very beginning of every single row we are going to put two single crochets into this very first stitch okay next we do the seven that will go down the hill so one two three four five six seven we are going to skip two we're going to crochet seven going back up two three four five six seven now we're going to put three single crochet stitches into the next stitch at the top. One, two, three. And now we're going to do seven stitches down. 
one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, skip two, go into the next stitch, and we're going to do seven, seven single crochets up until we reach that top of that chevron there. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven. And we're going to put three single crochets into this top loop here. One, two, three. And now we're going to do seven single crochets in the next seven stitches here, going back down. One, two, three. Four, five, six. I'm gonna just go ahead and count those just to make sure I got seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I was counting right. Okay, seven. Okay, we're at the bottom, so we skip the next two, and then we do seven all the way back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and in this very last loop right here, we're going to put two single crochets. Okay, one, two. So then you're ready to turn your work and chain one and continue the row repeat until it is as big as you would like for it to be. So um, all you have to do to remember how to do this is either you can just keep rewinding the video, which, you know, isn't going to make me mad any. Um, and, you know, you can have me slow down or speed up um, to accommodate for your needs. Or just remember that at the very beginning, you do two single crochets into the first stitch then you do seven down, skip two, seven up, single crochet three, seven down, skip two, seven up, single crochet three, and on and on and on until you come to the end. And the end is always going to end with two double, or, or I'm sorry, two single crochets into that last stitch, okay? So you're gonna begin and end with two single crochets on that last stitch. And as you can see, uh, let me go ahead and zoom out here. It makes a very beautiful chevron stitch. And the color that I'm using is a Zeman brand, Royal Batik, and this is in the color 31 and I have no idea what that means but I like it it's this blue and pink and white um, eventually um, colorway that is really per really perfect for making baby items I think that what I'm probably going to do is um, frog this and then probably make a few um, children's hats and donate them to um, a local charity here which um, we have a single um, sorry we have a children's hospital in Little Rock, which is just down the street. And um, the charity here is Knitting for no Noggins. You can also crochet for them too. And basically you make up some hats 
and you donate them to the children's hospital and um, the kids can pick whichever kind of hat they want and so I always like to donate a few to them when I can so I just wanted to mention that um, again remember to like subscribe uh, let me know how I'm doing by leaving a comment Share with your friends if you think what I'm putting out is good content. And remember, I do have that giveaway going on. So you're going to want to make sure you enter that as well. I will see you later on with a very advanced stitch that I am sharing with those of you who are not beginners but would like to learn um, a more complicated stitch. I will see you later. Bye-bye.